Scott Fromey and welcome to the Backwoodsman's Institute. Today's the uh, 10th of March and we've had our first real warm spell. It got above 60 degrees today and that means everything's coming out and thawing out. The frogs, the turtles, also the crawdads. I only got maybe a dozen of them today so ain't enough for a meal but just enough to maybe have a little bit of a snack. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I fix them up for a little bit of a crawdad snack. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you're preparing and cleaning the crawfish is actually put them in a bucket of water for, you know, fresh water for a little while to let themselves purge themselves, so clean themselves out. Um, I actually had these, I caught these this morning, had them in a bucket all day, and here it is, the end of the day, and I'm going to fix them for, for supper. So I already had that, so I'm going to go ahead and just rinse them off real good and, and uh, clean them up. I got them in the sink. I'm go ahead here and rinse them off real good and get them cleaned up. Cool this down a little bit. Off the live lead right now. That's what you want. Rinse them off real good and clean them up a little bit. Get them ready for the pot. Okay, the next step what I did was I'm getting a pot of water going here and I've actually seasoned it with some I'm gonna try I'm gonna try this seven pepper blend seafood seasoning. It's got a little bit of a, several different types of peppers and cayenne peppers and garlic and salt in there. So I got that seasoned pretty good. I'm gonna get that to boil them. And then we'll go ahead and drop them in. Okay, we got a good boil going. We're just going to start throwing in the in the crawdads. Just going to start dropping them in the in the water. We're going to let them boil for about five or six minutes. Then we're going to shut the heat off and we're just going to let it steep for about 20 minutes or so. Time for a little bit of crawdad appetizer. So now you got the crawdad cooked. So how you go about eating them? Well, I just go ahead and peel off the body part of it and peel it off the head. And then if the pinchers are big enough to eat, I'll try and dig out some of the meat on that. And the next part of it is just removing the actual tail of it. And then once I get the tail removed, I'll just go ahead and, and peel off the back, get all the shell part off of the tail. Then you just end up with a little chunk of tail meat. Dip it in garlic butter or make like a sauce out of, sometimes I make like a sauce out of horseradish and ketchup, like a little cocktail sauce. But that's how you go about eating crawdads. In the springtime, as, a, as the weather starts coming and the thunderstorms start rolling, it triggers them crawdads to come back out of their winter holes and start moving into the creeks. So when the water's still a little cool yet, you can kind of walk the creeks or actually pick them up, find out. They're, a lot of times they're just crossed in roads and, and parking lots and stuff like that. So keep an eye out for them and take advantage of them. Have you a little bit of a crawdad snack. Catch you out in the woods.